Welcome to Factorio launch series recap number five. My name is Nilos and as I said, this is the recap of uh, our Twitch series. So I am, uh, for anyone who is not aware and maybe just hangs out here on YouTube, I'm also active on Twitch. You wouldn't believe it, but I also have a Let's Play series running on Twitch. It is at... Uh, it's happening on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central European time, and the address is twitch.tv slash Nilos, and you can also find that in the description below. It would be really cool if you want to jump by and say hi. It's uh, always nice to see new people coming in from YouTube, also seeing, uh, just saying hi for those live sessions. So what have we done? This is uh, at the start of the previous week. So each of these episodes will recap what has going on, what has been going on in the space for the last week, as well as sort of pointing ahead just to try to get an, a sense of what the next things to do. So at the end of this week, we had our test rocket module working. It was working really well and it was converted so that it was now taking ore inbound instead of taking Take, as first planned, taking plates inbound. So this is looking good. There's, of course, some issues here with the unloading. That's uh, because of the way that it's been designed. It's not how it's going to be designed out there in the wild. And we had built our first little location, but not hooked it up yet. So let's uh, jump forward in time. This is uh, so the start of the week. So let's see after the first of the three streaming sessions of the week, what have we have achieved? And here we are. You can see that this uh, things have expanded quite a bit as well. We've up to 280 rocket launch. That's pretty good. But the number of launches are still increasing. So that's kind of understandable because uh, the number of rockets we're launching is only depending on these three ses uh, setups here. As you can see, the robots here are super busy at all three locations. Each of them launching a rocket every five minutes if it's fully performing. It isn't quite fully performing, but if it is, then it will launch a rocket every five seconds. F okay, maybe five minutes instead. And so what we've done is we have started making these dedicated smelting arrays. And they're not actually as good as I'd hoped, but I guess we'll be finding out about it. So you can see this one, for example. You can see that below it, we've already started to consume a bit too much of what is below. And when this one runs out, that's not really a problem. But when this one runs out, the both of them, then there's nothing putting into the first train. And that's a big problem. Also, what we found out is that in order to fill this up in the time, or sorry, in, in order to div, in order to for us to provide into this 82 copper per second, which is our target, we need to have one train always be here and we need mining productivity 25. So in order for us to make sure that we have one train always be here, then we have to have two trains and we don't have any circuit logic or anything to that effect, which controls that they don't go back, but we'll uh, we'll get that eventually. Uh, it's it's At this point, we don't have that issue so because they're too slow, so they'll be mainly waiting here. And then when they go out, then this one is gonna go out soon-ish. It'll go back. And what I've done is each of these locations is dedicated to one. So this uh, this here, number zero goes to, hmm, where is that? Number is number zero. I think this is number zero, but I haven't changed it. It's still called X, but it should be zero, one. And I'm going to make another one up here. Uh, additionally, we have changed our nuclear power plants. Let's remove these indicators to another design, a 10 react, 8 reactor build that we designed in a workshop session and uh, I'm actually really happy about it. This is more of a uh, this is more of a city block build because you can see I have retained the everything here. If you take my city blocks then it will just fit and come on get find that city block. There. Yeah, you can see the blue ones. It can super superimpose exactly on a city block without any issues. So it's a really nice build, and it is also included in my nuclear power build. So if you re-download the, the blueprint linked in my nuclear power tutorial, this one is also included if you rather want this one instead. Aside from it, the base is just working as usual. We're just keeping it there. We don't do much changes back here in the base because most of our focus is out here on the new one. So at this point, we actually have some of this operational. We, of course, could just always get more, 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 more. We want to get more, but eh, you know, when everything at a, at a time. So uh, let's jump forward and see what the next stream has uh, has progressed on. 
And here we are. We can see that we have now added one more location and removed the old ones. So we still have three locations operational, three rocket launching facilities. They are launching again pretty much one every five minutes. And we're now up to 356. So it's um, we're starting to get a pretty decent uh, launch thing, and it won't be it won't be long until I'm starting to launch rockets uh, quite a lot faster than it goes up, and then we'll see that. But we've started on the next project. The next big project is what we can see up here. It's probably easier to see actually from the map view than the blinky thing. So all of this is what we need in order to create 200 signs per minute. 200 signs per minute is exactly the same of all the other six sciences. 200 signs per minute is exactly what we need to match one of these modules with one of these modules. Because it's, if it launches a rocket every five minutes, that's 1000 rocket science or space science every five minutes, so that's 200 per minute. So I'm going to need to make as many of these modules that I'm starting to design as I need to make of the other modules. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to keep this area, I think, to rocket launching and then I'll probably do some other thing over here, maybe to to do the other th stuff. But it's uh, we'll, we'll cover that when we get there. First, it's a massive design effort to do this because we have to figure out the number of these, the ratios, uh, sort of balance out the how many how many of them we want how to get it in how to fit everything in and then also make sure that and i've set this up i've wanted this to be fully constrained within a city block pattern so that's really a big effort we are going into and this is a uh, it's take many hours to do this first we have to figure out how many of each we needed and then we slowly start designing it first we're starting with the oil part what we're going to get in here is we're going to get two stations of iron because I think we need 140 something iron ore to support this and it's every second. So that's going to take, basically it's going to take two of these stations. Right? One station like this is not enough. This is actually interesting. This is de dead and this is dead. So we have a train that's dead here and that means we will never get this one to leaving the station. Uh, I think we might want to set up a warning so that if a, if a train has been waiting at a station for more than five minutes, for example, then it should throw a warning and saying train has been idling here for more than five minutes. That's a good idea. We'll, we'll build it on the next stream if we forget, if we remember it. So please remind me. Uh, again, we're going to go with the no oil inbound and still do cold liquefaction here. I'm actually really happy about doing cold liquefaction. Also, by the way, the reason why this is on a separate branch is because I'm going to have four trains feed into this. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. That means this is also functioning as a stacker in case all of them, for whatever reason, comes inbound at the same time. They won't, but they could. And the rest will just share the stacker because it can't be, it's not going to be very much for any of these. Worst case, it might be stacking up with a copper here and another copper train right behind it for 10 seconds or something. So I, I don't think that's a problem. But for iron, it's definitely a big issue. What we can see up here in this one is that we need six smelters here. We need 20, uh, 39 steel smelters. We need 54 iron smelters. And we need a meager 28 copper smelters. Now that's compared to over here, which Reed needed like more copper smelters than iron smelters because primarily because of the low density structures. All right, let's uh, progress the time and one more stream forward so that we can see what has happened with our science module. And here we are. This is uh, the only thing that's really changed in the base has been uh, focused extremely tightly on this one. And if I look at this, you can see here, this is the city block pattern. It is extremely tight. It, it's We haven't tested it, but you're still missing some things in terms of sort of uh, quantities. Now we actually have set all of these up, the conditions for imports and exports. Nope, not all of them. So it's still some work to be done. But basically, we have taken all the oil on this side and we've squeezed in one, two, three, four, five, six, exactly figured out how to get all of the science in on the side. So basically, we have the smelting here and then the intermediate products of course then the intermediate products have to go over here but it's very low quantity generally science needs few of a of an item but at but those are highly processed items at the current tech level the only this the only uh 
difference here is the rails, which is 30 rails for each uh, craft. So that's why I've put them in here next to it. And I also put the electric engines because it's close to the lubricant. Now all of this build, it's 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 a bit magical, but we use heavily use a, what's it called? It's called max rate calculator, for example, here. If I do per minute, no, per minute, you can see they're all slightly above 200. Not a lot above 200, but slightly above 200. And we also still have biters. <clears throat> they're still uh, very annoying. They actually managed to eat half of that location, hence why we've now thrown in so many more things. And uh, yeah, we, we are definitely going to... We're still very busy on taking this. We are clearing out this... Uh, this queue so hopefully we can do that and i also want my green uh see they are just coming in here luckily we have just some random defenses here and there um i want my green spidertron to keep building the area out so that we can we can push them back so they spawn further away from sort of the heart of our base and that's uh it's, it takes a bit but i don't want them spawning in this area and i don't want them spawning in this area which has already been achieved so now not spawning in this area actually not spawning at all here and uh, then also pushing it up so that we could get those choke points uh, in action would be very nice so that's uh, where we are the focus of uh, of our build right now is actually taking this one finishing it up the last bit of design and actually start testing it we're going to root some things in here and then we're going to see if it actually performs the way that we hope it will whether we build it directly out here where it should be or we do something else like try to get things in here immediately i don't know we'll just uh we'll just have to wait and see that's uh and that's oh there we go a new spawn here so definitely need to pay attention to the biters and of course any new subs will also be adding new biter nests so it's always like it's nice to have a a queue because that means there are more subs but it's also a bit stressful also in terms of rockets we launch another 400 and up to 440 rockets launched uh, in this space it's it's something uh, we actually lost one train with I don't know, maybe 50,000 space signs in because of the stupid biters that ate it. But yeah, no, it happens. Luckily, we're launching a lot of rockets. So that shouldn't be a problem. And once we have the first of these modules up, then we can probably take out the science in the home base and then start routing it in there somehow. I don't really know how, but we'll, we'll figure that out as well. So um, I'm going to continue streaming this. This is streamed, as I mentioned, over on Twitch on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central European time. I hope that you want to check it out. I know that it doesn't fit for everyone at the time. There are also VODs available. And of course, this recap is, is there as well. But if you find yourself uh, homesick from work and uh, want to hang out and chillax, then just drop on by. Or if it's middle of the night, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm there most of the time. So uh, it'd be great to, to see some new new faces there. And uh, the address, of course, is Twitch TV slash Nilos. Also, link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you either here on YouTube, on the Discord, or in the live streams. Until next time, take care and stay effective.